Basically, I know a good toe when I see one. Hello there. I'm Marie, and I hate summer. Um, hi, if you're watching, I'm really sorry that my really cool ring light reflects in my glasses throughout the whole video. I'm super blind, and I have a ring light so I look prettier, and they just is a bad combination to be ugly and blind. So, I apologize for that. Whew, feels so good to get that off my chest. Okay, wait, before you come for me, I know that's a hot take, controversial, I hear ya. Um, but I have 10 really good reasons for why I hate summer. You might find some of these relatable. We'll see. In honor of this video, I'm using my winter mug because winter is my favorite season. I know, I know, another controversial take, hot take. The first reason I hate summer is because I'm allergic to it. What? You might say, how are you allergic to summer? Um, I am. I'm allergic to summer. Uh, specifically the plant life. Allergic to trees, most grasses, most flowers, you name it. Anything nature-y, it's not good for me. I hate plants. They hate me too. It's mutual. Every second week of June, my whole body turns into a giant allergic reaction. We don't know why. Doctors can't quite figure it out. Anyways, so I'm allergic to summer, and that's one reason I hate it. Oh, hey there. Another reason I hate summer is because my toes are not sandal toes. If you're like me and you have fugly toes that are not made for sandals, you know what I'm talking about. Like, my toes do not look good in sandals. Like, that's it. There's no, like, arguing. Like, no one's gonna look at my toes and be like, so glad you've exposed them to us to see on this fine summer day. Like, your toes are safe in the winter, all closed up in your cute little boots, but in the summer, your sandals just expose them. Like, I'm not gonna show you my toes because that would be weird, but they're like, not cute. Like, I know people with cute toes. That also sounds weird. Basically, I know a good toe when I see one. That also sounds creepy. <laughs> so let's make a fugly toe club. Okay, let's not, that sounds weird. Everything I say when I say toe, it just sounds weird. Like. If you attach toe to any sentence you said, it sounds weird. Like, oh, like, let's go shopping for some toes. Okay, well, that's, we're going to stop talking about toes. Oh, hello there. The third reason I hate summer is because of the beach. Um, the reasons I hate the beach are because of sand, um, the ocean, uh, the sun, and the people. So that pretty much sums it up. Um, now, I know you might be like, why are you coming for the sun, Marie? What did it do to you? It's just like the sun burns you and, well, it doesn't burn me. I don't burn or tan. I just stay the same pale color all year round, no matter how much time I spend in the sun, which, yeah, I guess could be good, but I don't like that. Um, oh, also seagulls. Really not a fan of seagulls, because one time I thought I was picking up a pretty rock on the beach and it was actually seagull poop, and I think I'm forever scarred from that experience. <laughs> you picked up seagull poop? Yes, I picked up seagull poop. Now you know I hate the beach. I actually do like the beach not in summer. A nice winter beach, a nice like down, like cloudy beach, so much fun, there's nobody there, it's so pretty, so I'm not a total beach hater. But I am a beach hater in the summer. Yeah, I just, like why would you sit in a crowded place in extreme sunlight? to burn, tan, or stay the same pale color, surrounded by evil seagulls, and you're getting like sand like everywhere. I don't know. Count me out, unless it's winter or rainy. One time I jumped in the ocean when it was rainy. So sorry to all the beach lovers. Okay, so another reason I don't like summer is I hate pools and pools are all the rage in the summer. Now, oh my god, why don't you like pools? <laughs> well, I was a lifeguard for two summers, and once you have to scoop a turd out of the pool using like this giant fish hook, and then you just like dump 10 buckets of shock in the pool and then call it good the next day, like pools are honestly ruined for you. Like I've seen scary stuff. 
But when you've been, when you're a lifeguard, you finally realize why, like, the lifeguards at your, like, summer pool get so pissed off when you, like, you know how when you were a kid, you, like, pretended to float dead in the water? And then, like, the lifeguards would get mad at you? Well, now I know why. That's the fourth reason I think that I hate summer. I think it's the fourth. Highly recommend being a lifeguard. But you just might see some stuff. Reason number five, I hate summer. The expectations are just too high. Everyone's always like, what are your fun plans for the summer? I mean, not this summer, but most summers. And no one ever asks, what are your fun plans for the winter? And I just feel like I would have a really great answer to my fun plans for the winter. Because like winter is my jam. I'm in my zone, my fun zone in winter. But when they ask, what are your fun plans for the summer? I'm just like this like what you see is what you get i feel like i have to have some plans and then when i don't i just feel sad you feel you probably don't okay back to watching law and order like let's make winter cool like it's already physically cool let's just make it literally cool really sad i just said that that was like a really bad joke no, oh, it's not even a joke. We can't qualify it as a joke. When your joke's that bad, it's just unfortunate. The sixth reason I hate summer is sunglasses. Now, I don't hate sunglasses per se, but I hate when you are blind as a bat, me, and you have prescription sunglasses along with your prescription glasses because contacts don't go well when you're allergic to everything. Like, mm. like, this one time I put allergy drops in and then my contacts and one pupil got really large and one pupil got really small. We thought I was having a stroke and it was this whole thing. But anyways, it's really hard to manage it. Like, you put on your prescription glasses and then you leave your actual glasses at home, you get all the way to work, and then you have to wear your prescription sunglasses at your desk like a loser. You see, like, it's just really hard. It's like, Hey, reason number seven for why I hate summer is sweating. So I know we can sweat in all seasons. Winter, spring, fall. Uh, but sweat in the summer, for some reason, when I sweat in the summer, I have an allergic reaction. It's so weird. Now, bleh. now a lot of these reasons I'm explaining for why I hate summer, you might realize that they have to probably do with some weird medical condition I have, but we don't know what that is yet, so I still hate summer. Also, look at me, braving the great outdoors with the evil cottonwoods and the sun. I haven't told you about why I hate the sun yet. You see? The bane of my existence also. Please note, no sandals. Hide the toes. <laughs> okay, so the eighth reason I hate summer is air conditioning. I just hate air conditioning. Like, I'm cold right now in the house, but it's 90 degrees outside. It's just I just don't get it. Slow down there. You know, the ninth reason I hate summer is biking. Biking really, like, just becomes a thing in summer. And I have, like, seven scars from biking. Like, really unfortunate biking experiences. Like, I just, I'm not meant to ride a bike. that one yeah so that was my ninth reason um there is no tenth reason there was never a tenth reason i just thought 10 reasons why i hate summer was a way catchier title so i lied and i'm sorry about it but like what's she gonna do right okay uh in summary i hate summer i'm sorry for people who love summer uh <sighs> oh if you're still here please subscribe if you want